Hey guys! So if you're like me, you're really excited about Luna. You just want to jump in and start utilizing the functionality of uh, bringing in tape on all the channels, uh, one, wonderful UAD plugins, and being able to bring all that wrapped into this wonderful, awesome new DAW shell. So we need audio, right? So you're probably immediately going, I need to figure out how to get my audio in, what's the easiest way? So today we're going to talk about how to actually export the AAF files from your other DAW. In this example, I'm going to show Pro Tools, and that way you can bring it in. What we're going to show you is how to get from the importing the AAF section and actually bringing in an AAF along with its MIDI components to that final looking like this. But we actually have to start somewhere. So we actually have to start, and that's the big deal. We, we want to get you from point A to point B, but we actually have to start somewhere. So let's go take a look at Pro Tools. Let's go take a look at how we're going to get that AAF file out of Pro Tools so we can bring it into Luna and we can start working it. So for starters, um, I'm working with this session called Love is for Christmas um, from the artist Daniel Park. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to go to, I'm in Pro Tools, you know, I have all my sessions. I want to make sure I select all my files here and, you know, you can see all my session files here, just kind of how they were, um, somewhat consolidated. There's some small edits and things like that going on in there. So I'll pull that out of the way. Um, and we're really literally just going to go to file. And then from here, we're going to go to export selected tracks as a new AAF. The only thing we have to make sure that we do here is we do need to make sure that if we look down at the bottom that everything here looks the way that it should. You'll see consolidate from source media. It's going to pull from the source media there. Um, if you want to actually run manual consolidations like to, from the start, same start sync point, you can. But you actually don't have to do that in the AAF export process. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to hit OK. We can drop any comments in here if we'd like. I'm just gonna call this, because this original session was mix nine for one of my classes. And I'm gonna bring it out. It's gonna you know, give me a warning about Media Composer, which is not gonna matter, because that's not where we're going. Um, then what I you, highly suggest you do in order to keep track of this um, is make sure that you make a new folder for your files um, as they're going out. Oops. Oops, I could just figure out how to type. Love is for Christmas. So audio files, uh, first off, are going to get processed there. And the AAF itself is going to go there. Um, this actual session is done at 88.2. So this might just take a little bit of time to pump through. So one of the things we actually have to do in order to bring in tempo from our original DAW is we have to have some MIDI to carry the tempo information and maybe even some of the track information. Normally, if we were slinging session information, it would carry it along. All we're going to do here to make that happen is we can really easily create a new track. And we're just going to bring in any old MIDI track. And all I'm going to do is grab my pencil tool and just draw in a simple note so that there's some MIDI in place. And then I'm literally just going to go export MIDI and it's going to carry that information, export MIDI. And I want it in the same place as um, my AAF. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit Pro Tools. Um, and jump over to Luna. Okay, so bring this in. All we're gonna have to do is go and select our AAF file. And we're gonna bring in our MIDI. By creating that MIDI file, we bring in tempo and any markers that are available. Additionally, we have to make sure we choose a new location for wherever we're going. Once we choose that, then we're good to go. You can hit create. And it's literally gonna import all those files. It's, gonna, it's going to create and um, it's gonna do the MIDI map. Um, It'll bring in all the session information. You'll be ready to go. And then now you can start using your session. Yeah, and there it is. And you can see your, your marker map and everything is ready to go. And that's it. It brought in my count in, it brought in my, notice all my markers are there. And my MIDI files there. My song is here, hopefully. So if we go to that marker one. La da da, 
La da da. This is a mix. Love is for Christmas. La da da. La da da. Love is for Christmas. On the first day of winter, I light a fire to warm her. Because like I know that is what she really likes. And then I make her a snowman. Everything's in. Built we with my bare with hands. Because I. If we hold option, we can bring in oxide on all channels. So, so I just went right to tape. I hold option as I click into tape. All of a sudden we got our tape, our oxides on everything right away. And then we can start working saturation levels, you know. That's kind of fun. La da da, la da da. Love is for Christmas. La da da, la da da. Love is for Christmas. On the first day of winter. But again, we have those sections in our markers, which is great, which means we can jump into our chorus. La da da, la da da. Love is for Christmas. La da da, la da da. Love is for Christmas. I will say this, so one of the clunk one of the clunky things about this situation is not at all times do I get 100% of my information translated the way I should. So sometimes I feel like there are things, there are items that do end up going missing if I look in the file structure um, under the Luna sessions themselves and I go look for the audio. The problem is, is that when they get exported as um, AAF, they actually don't give me names of everything here. So it makes it a little harder to track. Um, but it, you know, once we kind of isolate what is or is not working, we're ready to go. I mean, the exciting part about it to me is just being able to jump in and drop tape on stuff and start working, um, start, you know, jamming with the plugins. I will say, so this session is at 88.2, you know, obviously we have to be very careful with DSP, but I feel like that the DSP load is actually so much better. Like like on this session, uh, normally on a, in Pro Tools, so one of, that's one of the exciting things about this. In Pro Tools, I can probably run at 88.2, maybe, you know, uh, six or eight instances of Oxide, and then it's done. And, uh, you know, so being able to run tape on every track is awesome without having to kill my DSP. So I'm really excited about that. But again, the process that we're using here is we're, we're, um, we're going in and we're bringing in the MIDI. Uh, along with the AAF to bring in our tempo and to bring in our markers. And then the AAF um, essentially copies all the files, brings those in pretty much in a state, uh, a non-mixed state. Uh, so everything comes in at Unity or nominal. And essentially we come in and start working with it. Now, we, now we're ready to mix. So it's a really, it's a fairly simple process. Um, there may be some missing files. You just have to go one for one and make up a match. Um, obviously we don't get any auxiliary things. We don't get buses and things like that. So we have to reroute and do that effect. So all of our effects are lost. All of our inserts are lost from anything else transferring from another DAW. But that's exactly how we do it. And now we're ready to roll. Cool. <laughs> 